Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Heroes of the Storm. Today we're playing more ranked duo to Grandmaster um, in Season 2. So we're currently sitting at the high part of uh, Plat 5, mid, mid the high part. Uh, three wins, one loss for a 75% win rate uh, in this new season. Uh, the only thing that really changed was the Battlegrounds. Volskaya is in and Warhead Junction is out, thank the good lord. Um... Yeah, we just came off of a nice win where we gained, what was it, 587 points? <laughs> yeah, insane, oh, right? Which points. is absurd. I've never gained that much before. Um, and we believe it's because we are coming right out of our placement game, so it is going to plateau eventually. But we want to try to bang out some wins while we uh, while we have this high rank point going. So, uh, yeah, I think that's enough chit-chat. We'll go ahead and see you in the draft. Uh. All right, and we find ourselves on Tomb of the Spider Queen today. That's like a 20 second queue? Yeah, that wasn't Sheesh. long at all. Mr. Edwards, he's been in a couple of our games before, I think. He's plat four. Another plat four. We've never been plat four. You can't yeah. be, you can't have been in the game. I swear he was in one of, he was in one of them. I swear he was. Someone, if you've seen this this guy's name, Mr. Edwards, in one of our previous videos, let us know down in the comments oh, section. Yeah. If Purge is wrong, he has to, I don't know, like, play 10 if games I... solo in D-Rank. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, man. I was gonna say I'll have to play, like, I don't know, the Toronto or something. Yeah. One of my least favorite healers. Yep. But okay. Sure. Yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll play ten, 10 games and D rank. <laughs> I mean, what's the what's difference? The... <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> we've, we've had such a good win rate in. We had such good win rate in the first season. I'm hoping that the second season will be at least comparable. Yeah. I don't even remember what we ended at. I think it was. In the 80s, though, or maybe just below yeah. 80. Um, Junkrat. Junkrat's actually pretty strong overall, um, but he can also be very ineffective. If people don't know how to play Junkrat, he kind of sucks. Do I go, what, Rag? Oh, yeah, I like the Joe pick. Thank God. Because I'm not sold on Rag yet. Yeah, I'm not sold on Andrin yet either. Samuro. I think Rag mm, does well into Samuro. It's been a while since I played that matchup. I'm trying to think of uh, I mean, Malfurion could be good here. Yeah, for the bunch of heals off of the Samuro clones. Yep. Yeah. But even Anduin, with um, his W gaining more heals for each person you hit. Very true. They picked Morales, which makes me wonder, are they going like more auto-attackers? Yeah, well... I mean... This is, uh, this is the rank where I think having... I mean, as you... If you think back to when we did our placement games, the mm -hmm. last one where we had the Tychus as our offlaner, it didn't really work. This is the rank where roles start being clearly defined. Right. Where you can't just have a a random DPS being an offlaner. Right. And it working. Although I think Rag works here. It gives us enough beef. Gives us enough beef to, to have a little bit of team fight, especially with being Samuro Junkrat. They like so so Junkrat likes poke and displacement. Um so we, we don't need a heavy front line for that. That's terrifying. <laughs> and then I, I say pick Anduin with that then. So you have the pull. Yeah, for sure. Um but then Samuro, he likes to go in on the backline squishies and I believe Rag has enough peel for the backline squishies. Mmm. That's interesting. Indeed. That's very interesting. Now, Kira does beat Rag in the 1v1. I think, I think Rag beats Samuro in the 1v1, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. But there's, Rag... I don't think there's anything else here that I'd want to pick. Yeah, healer-wise, I think Anduin's your best choice. 
The only other one I can think of is like Lucio, but I think yeah. Anduin's better uh, on this map and in this instance. I don't know. Like, I think I like our comp way better. I, I do. It's gonna our come. Comp is more standard. Yeah, for sure. They have like all of their picks are just strange. Like, I don't know. They don't really synergize with each other. Kira Garrosh scares me a tad. Um, yeah. Because that gank potential is terrifying, especially when I play Ragnaros, a very gank success, success, su nah, gankable hero. <laughs> very gankable hero. Um, I'll uh, I'll uh, subtitle that for those of you who didn't quite get that the first time. Yes, I. Uh, he is a very susceptible. He is very susceptible to ganks. Yeah. So he tripped you up once too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I get it. Dance party. Dance party. Give me a perch. Dance with me. <laughs> I don't. I dance like a dad. You do. Even though Anduin is very unsun. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think engulfing flame build, your E build, blast wave is the way to go. Uh, in most situations, with Rag, Q build can work sometimes, but that's if they have multiple frontline heroes, uh, who are typically a tanky frontline. Which they don't have yet. Arden is just wasting his mana away uh, already, which is not the greatest sign. And we did see Samro coming to the bottom lane already, so I want to try to match him. Also, Samro's name is Harsh Winds, which is a talent for Samro, I believe. So this might be a yeah. Sam main. I'm dead already, aren't I? Oh, yeah. you're being chased. Gonna try to run up, but I knew that was happening too. Yeah. Actually, I didn't know it was happening. I thought there was gonna be a fight mid, and I was too busy poking the Samuro. Not a good start. I was talking about Harsh Winds being a talent. Alright. Alright, that was my last death. Got it. Understand. Yep. If I die again, I'm literally sitting in base AFK. And... I, won't, I won't heal you then, since that's your last death. Yep. Well, hold on. You're gonna live. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me just let me just turn on my hacks. Okay, yep. Unable to die now. You don't oh really see hack in this game. What's that? You don't really see hacks like that in this game. I've seen I think one person who I was certain they were hacking before in this video game. And that was one time. I've played this game for like seven years. Nice. Meatballed! Oh, it's the real one, or it was. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't really want to kill the minions middle lane because I want our Nazebo to stack. So we're just gonna chill bot lane and just try not to get kinked. Garrosh is missing, but I I saw him top lane most recently, and there he is. Uh, by pressing our uh, abilities on the Samro, you can. Jeez, those things were tanky as hell. But by pressing your abilities on Samro, you can see which is the real and which is the fake. He used throw yet? Uh, yeah, he just yeah. tried to use it on me. Yeah, this Garrosh is playing super aggressive, and the Samro is doing a really good job of uh, trying to freeze his wave uh, in a position where I'm gankable. Yeah, so this is kind of what I suspected would happen in this lane. Samuro doesn't necessarily beat me straight up, but he whittles me down. And if I ever get him low, he can do his back trick uh, and heal, whereas I have to do a full back to heal. But as long as we're keeping up on soak with him, which we're similar, uh, my death is what put me behind. Here's his back trick. See right there? He was around half HP and healed right the full. So this Samuro player is definitely... Someone who knows how to play Samro. And he's turning in. Oh, no, he's not. I got a lot, though, so I'll try to turn in. I think me looking for ganks is going to be the best play. I think I got to go ahead, clear my wave when it crashes, and then look for ganks. Which is going to crash real soon here, but I want to look for something. I'm coming in. Uh, but allies were low. 
Now my wave's crashing, so I should be able to come here. Sam's gonna poke me a little bit, but I gotta get to my minion wave. And I might be dead to Garrosh, depending on how quickly he moves. People stressing me out mid lane. I feel the stress. Uh, do I get it? Get desperate prey again. As long as I'm soaking and getting my minions, uh, this this lane is good enough for me. Garage through a minion, I'm happy. I think I have exactly enough to turn in, so we'll hopefully get the objective here. Barely, but we did. Uh, and that Junkrat had 22 gems. That's a lot. Uh, I'm going to go at top lane, because that's the lane you want to be pushing. You know, as much as I don't like their team comp, it's definitely an annoying team comp. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be you're gonna struggle to uh, really lock them down and. If I landed my W, she might have died, but that's all good. Getting decent push here. If we had Jimmy from the start, uh, would have been much better push. But uh, we Can't at least got. Have what you want? Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately. If we can kill the building, I I do have my molten core up. But I think saving molten core for a defensive play uh, is just significantly better. And I think this girl fed. Oh, nice throw oh. by Garrosh. That was real nice. Um, I do have my tap up, but enemy team has enough to turn in. They're going to get it, so I'm going to save my tap for objective defense. Uh, we do want to be getting our camp, though. Uh, once again, for objective defense. And um, just setting up. We, we, I would love to get level 10 before uh, before they capped it, but unfortunately we had no stall because uh, some people were resetting, such as myself. And uh, I guess it's better than someone dying. Yeah. I have 10. Uh, it's because of bot lane. The Samuru's been rotating very well. He's diffing me. The Sam's a better player than I. I uh, mean, not wrong, but... <laughs> I need 10 so fast. Uh, we need to go from mid straight down to bot. I can lava wave bot. Not the best timing, but uh, I need to, to start to stop that. Big fight happening, but trying to clear the camp. Uh, and I, I was close enough, I could have react to it if we wanted. Does look like Sam still might get that building. Yeah. Kind of shocked. Unfortunately, at that. The, the team took that fight, which distracted us from the real problem, which was that uh, Sam was taking our bot building right. with very little to no contention. Yeah. With one crappy lava wave. <laughs> That's okay though, I'll take uh, our bottom gone to their top gone. That is of course if we can actually kill top, but... Unfortunately, yeah, I think... We're uh, sort of ignoring this Sam. Yeah. And he's getting too much... The Raynor could be... Raynor stacking? He is. Rainer could be getting so many stacks. The Nazebo as well, he's gone toads. He could be getting so many stacks off of just fighting the uh, Samuro, but unfortunately it's one that's having to do it. Which is understandable, because that is how I drafted my hero, but uh, just unfortunate because I do lose to this guy, especially with uh, him understanding the, the tips and tricks of Samuro. Uh, really good push in the middle lane here, though. A friendly team able to get a nice pick. 
Um, and I'll be able to soak both top and bottom with a lava wave that'll come off cooldown here in about uh, 20 seconds. Uh, I know it's up right now, this lava wave. But uh, I want to try to get maximum value out of it. So I send it at, I believe it'll be uh, 9.15 is the timing. Just coming up on it real quick here. We'll send it now. And then I do have the turn in for us, but I am getting a uh, zone. And so is Purge with a nice throw by Garrosh. Trying to dodge that. Nice pull. She's kind of really out of position. Uh, me dying here would be total feed uh, and possibly a throw, so I just can't die. And oh my gosh. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I'm like... What in the world? I'm so confused as to what's going on in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's... They had peels. I tried turning. I got stalled. I don't think that's my fault. No, I don't think so. Uh, a lot of the time, it's... It's very easy to focus on little things like that. But the real issue there was we picked a bad fight at a bad time. Yeah. If Wob wasn't there, we wouldn't have had half of the damage that we did have, even though we didn't really kill anyone. Um, but if we had just ignored the fight, he could have turned in simple enough. We keep... That's another thing. We keep chasing people <laughs> like the Samuro and the uh, the Kira who are going to get out real right. easy. Is Garrosh in this bush? I didn't see. Oh, he is. Oh, it was almost a big rip to Jimmy. Uh, I need to be top lane though. Massive minion wave, Kira, and objective all pushing in at the same time. Um, thanks to the big minion wave, we could uh, heal off of it and not get completely one shot by the Kira. Now we do have quite a few gems on our pocket. Not a bad defense. We're still ahead structure wise. Structure wise, and, we are for sure. And coin wise. Uh, Johanna has turn-ins, and I'm, I'm sure she's going to get it. Uh, if not, I can sneak it top lane. Um, do have a Lava Wave up, which I will probably send... I might have to send it mid lane if we're going to keep fighting here. But I kind of want to turn in first. Which I think I'll be able to get just fine. And then my Lava Wave is going to go bottom, because we need to start to get some sort of push in there. I'll soak top lane, get the gems, get the soak, and then group with the team uh, with objective. This ain't a bad fight if we wanted to take it. Oh, I've got a Kira on me. Nice light bomb. Those are good picks. Oh, so close. Get him, Purge! 20% <laughs> movement speed. Woo. Let's go. And with that and the push we have going, we might be able to end the game. Uh, yeah, quite possible. I do have my Molten Core up. So I think pushing for it's not a terrible idea. But we need Jimmy to start it, stop auto attacking the stupid silly wall. I got him! Samuro executed! Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use our alt here. And start to clear out more of these minions by cubing. Uh, and we wanna be hitting this core as well. Maybe another Q? Trying to give Johanna our uh, movement speed. We were able to a little bit. I do have so many coins on me, so if we don't end now, uh, it'll be very bad for us. And Jimmy Rayner is instead attacking buildings in the top lane, so we got to back out. We have a second turn in. Uh, if we had Rayner, I think we could have easily uh, won the game there. But yeah. he decided it was a better play to take down the top wall rather than kill the core. The core only has 9,000 more HP. You add... Where are the walls up? 
you add two of the towers, that's that's how much it is. That, that was it right there. So if he instead of attacking the wall, attacked the core, that was the damage numbers right there. So little, that's not even a little thing. That's a pretty big thing, actually. <laughs> yeah. And Nazebo does have his stacks, though, which is fantastic for us. Enemy team might be looking for boss. Yeah, or they might have just checked. It's possible they're waiting. Right. Yeah, they're, they're just. Well, they, they could be on it, technically. Yeah, they are. They are on it. They're halfway through. Um. And I don't really think we can contest it. I want to try to get in there, but this is good zoning ults by the enemy team. And now we're going to just have to get in there. Uh, we're going to send a lava wave mid, because I do think we could end mid uh, if this fight just keeps on happening. Let's go! Yeah, we just, we hopefully should win top. Uh, we can win middle. We don't even need to go top. True. Um. Second lava wave. Just because I like second lava wave best. Quick lava wave bot so you get the uh, the XP down from down there. Get uh, top XP contribution. Hell yeah! <laughs> and there's game. Oh, he's not even gonna make it. I made it for a little bit, make maybe two minions. But oh, hey, it's Reno Jackson. Who? What? Oh, he's gone. Oh, Reno oh, Jackson. oh. <laughs> down on the road. Nice. Um, that was more hard. That was harder than I expected it to be. Mainly because yeah. that Samurai was a pain. I feel like he was uh, doing very well for them. But overall, I think this was a game we just won in draft. Like, enemy team did not have the tools to react to what we had. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see the rank points. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. 576 rank points. Plat what are these? Four. Oh. What the heck? I love it. Let's go. Wow. Uh, you can see, though, we were able to get top XP contribution and siege damage and pump out a nice bit of hero damage as well, keeping right up there with uh, some of the top numbers on our team. Um, and then Purge coming out with a nice healer diff. I don't think Lieutenant Morales fit their team comp whatsoever. No, not really. Yeah. They had so many characters there, they would have better off been better off with an Anduin. Yeah. <laughs> um but the build that I went in today's video is this this is my standard rag build. You'll see it on my channel and showcases. But engulfing flame at level one, uh slow burn at four, blistering attacks at seven, uh lava wave at ten, tempered flame by at thirteen, uh blast echo at sixteen, and lava surge at twenty. It just gives you such good map control and uh, a decent amount of both sustain and burst damage in fights. So that's why I love this build, and that's why I went for it. You want to talk about talk about yours? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> same as previous video. So if you want a, a more detailed look at it, uh, feel free to go back to the previous episode and hear me talk about them a little bit more in detail there. So I'll just go over them quickly. Even-handed blessings on one, piercing light on four, desperate prayer on seven. Uh, Light Bomb Ult, Lion Enchant Boots, Lion Speed, Glyph of Faith, and then Inner Fire at 20. Yeah, I love it. Uh, that puts us, like I said, uh, right into the start of Platinum 4. Uh, we have four wins, one loss for an 80% win rate. Uh, and I believe we're on a two-game win streak, so that's pretty pog. <laughs> um, even if... If we lose the next game, I think we are safe to say we're not going back down to gold. I, I think we are good yeah. enough in into platinum that we should stay, unless we end up losing a crap load of rank points. But I, I don't see us doing that. Um, so you got anything to say, or or is that good? Uh, I'm happy to stop the season here, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, truthfully, I I think at the start of season one, I said uh. I was a little bit concerned about getting through plat, and I still am because, as you can see, just from that the way that Samro was playing, that was one of the best players we've played against thus far in the series was that Samro player. Yeah. And uh, so this is where you start finding players who are actually good at the game, both mechanically and game knowledge-wise. Um, 
not the best, but they're good. They they have they have their moments. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Uh, please feel free to comment, uh, hit like and subscribe if if you're new, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.